Hello again everybody, welcome back. George here from Softube and the icing on the cake is here, the cherry on the pudding, the final of our four Weiss Dynamics plugins. The compressor limiter has finally arrived. Like its cousins, the DSA and the Mastering Maximizer, this compressor limiter is based on the prized sonics of the DS1 Mark III, a compressor limiter and DSA, which has been found in major mastering studios around the world for a couple of decades now because of its fabulous transparent clean sound. And once you start to get to grips with and take for granted that exemplary Weiss sound, you realise that this plugin, like the others in the collection, is all about refining workflows, maximising the potential of your workflows in the DAW and giving you the right tools for the right tasks. So the DSer is all about DSing, of course. This is all about compression, limiting on your master bus and across the mix in general. It gives you everything you need and lots of lovely visual feedback. So let's check it out. Five knobs here, nice and simple layout uh, and a parallel blend knob on the right hand side. Below we have lots of uh, slightly more nuanced features. We have different filter types to choose between. We have a mid sides option here, which allows us to affect channels one and two, the middle and sides of our signal separately. Big bypass button there, of course. And then up here on the left, the expert menu. This gives us access to all of those DS1 Mark III parameters that aren't cluttering up the main faceplate here, making things complicated. This is an example of the simplification and refinement of your workflow that I was talking about. Um, probably the most obvious example is the fact that the DS1 Mark III has three different knobs for the release time. It has a fast, slow, and an average release knob. We've got an auto-release feature in this compressor limiter so that you can control all three with one knob as you will see here, the release fast controls the three different release settings with a, an auto release offset. So we can get that working for us in a much simpler way than we ever could with the DS1. If you're not necessarily a top grade mastering engineer who wants to dive into every single detail of the process, you can get a great sound very quickly with that. We're gonna be working on a little section of a song here, lots of dynamics to play with. And as you can see, there are lovely waveform views and frequency views so that you can take advantage of all the information you might need. So let's try it out in its simplest form as a compressor alone. We're gonna take a very simple percussive piece of material, this uh, tambourine here, I think. Because of the extreme transparency of this thing, we can really crush it and get a great sound still, no artifacts. Let's bring the attack nice and short to push that transient down. We'll get a lot of tail out of this tambourine. And the ratio can go up. So we're really compressing heavily now. We can see it in the uh, display here and also on the right hand side, the gain reduction meter there. And if we want to blend back in a bit of the original transient, we can and keep the long tail. And now if we just add some makeup gain, Marvellous. So that's the original sound, bypassed. And absolutely crushed. Smooth. We've really squashed that transient, which maybe you don't want to do in a real mix, but I do it now just to demonstrate how incredibly transparent this is. There's no unpleasant artifacts, there's no crackling, no weirdness going on. Now the title of the plugin is Compressor Limiter, but something else that it does incredibly well is expansion. I love to use it as an expander. For example, on this guitar part, which is sitting a little flat in the mix, we can grab the ratio and bring it around to the left so that we're in expansion territory. And let's call it a nice 1.6 expansion ratio and bring the threshold in. And now those peaks start to rise a little higher than they did before, but the average volume remains about the same. And then if we take away a little gain in the makeup stage, we can hear the difference when we bypass. It should really stand out a little more. So that's bypassed. And with the expansion happening, again, incredibly transparent. And in the context of the mix, that's gonna make a big difference. So let's hear it without the effect first. So 
almost a reggae backbeat now that's really popping out of the mix, that guitar. And again, without the cost of distortion or artifact. But of course, what this thing was really designed to do, what it excels at, is working on a master bus. So let's bring up an instance on our master bus now and go through a couple of options. First of all, why not let's try a bit of simple glue compression across the master bus to give us a bit of warmth and a bit of cohesion to democratize the levels a bit and hear a nice, warm, transparent mix. So we'll bring in the threshold slightly. Just very gentle compression. Nice fast attack. And fast release also. So we're just looking at two or three dBs of gain reduction at the peaks. So we'll add a little bit of makeup. And we should hear a nice warm difference. When I bypass, things are sticking out slightly. And when the compressor's in, things cohere. But we can also get a little clever on the mix bus. We can start to do some MS processing. So let's click on that button there and ungang the channels. We can start to work on the mids and the sides separately. Uh, why don't we, for example, take one of these filters and expand the lower frequencies in the mids so that we get a bit more punch and excitement out of the kick drum and the bass. And then we will maybe soften off the sides a little bit so that we can really focus the energy in the center. So working first on the mids, let's have a go. We can monitor that frequency range on its own in that channel, so it sounds like this. We're still hearing the whole of the sides, but we're hearing just the low frequencies in the middle here. There we go, we're really boosting it there slightly. And again, work with makeup gain just to be fair. Now let's move on to the sides. Let's bring the threshold down a little bit and just soften things off slightly. So we'll have a fast attack, fast release, and just a very low ratio, 1.5 to one or thereabouts. Nothing too drastic. Just a little gentle softening. And now when we bypass, those two separate changes should be reflected, making a big difference to the overall sound. So you hear the increased low end punch and focus in the center of the mix, but also the sides are a little less crackly, a little softer, a little more uh, well-rounded. And of course, once you're happy with the sound of your mix, once you've got your compression just right on the mix bus and everything's sitting the way you want it to, you can push the volume of your mix against the limiter. That's this control here. You have the same three safety limiter options as in our DS1 Mark III plugin, the original DS1 limiter, and then type one and type two advanced limiters. The type two is the true peak option, but let's choose type one now for maximum RMS values and see how loud we can push this thing. Gain reduction for the limiter appearing on the far right here. And just watch the output RMS over here. We'll get it above minus six, I think, before the thing starts to break up. starting to lose it there, but goodness me, that's getting unbelievably loud. You'd probably never want to push your mix that loud in the real world, but to know that you can without losing the integrity and the clarity of your sound is a really wonderful thing. And that's what these Weiss plugins are all about, that fabulous sound quality, no matter what you're doing with them. So as you can see, this is a very intricate tool in a very approachable package. It's available as part of the DS1 Mark III bundle with the DSA and the Mastering Maximizer, but it's also available as a standalone plugin. So go and check out our website or your local SoftTube dealer for more information, and we'll look forward to hearing from you about it. Let us know what you think. Happy mixing and mastering, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>